Hi, this is a quick start guide for the Track My Indoor Workout application. Before you start the software, I would like you to enable Bluetooth, which you can do in the settings. It's not a big warp if you don't enable it. I don't have it enabled. I'll show you what happens. So I started the app and it senses that you don't have the Bluetooth on, so I allow. And uh, I also would like you to uh, give permission to the app if you if it asks for any other permissions. Now, uh, for example, location permissions. In all older Android versions, uh, the Bluetooth functionality requires location permission. So, after you started the the app and it went through the splash screen and these permissions it immediately kicks in a scan this already happened in our case so i click on this top right icon again so i show you so this is what happens immediately after the app lands on the the initial screen and on this initial screen it lists the compatible devices which are advertising themselves through bluetooth in our case, we see a bike and a treadmill. It's up to you which one you choose, or if you have multiple devices, uh, you may just have one. Pick the preferred device and press on the play button. Now, as you could see, it might take a, a few seconds to initialize everything. Until then, there's um, little hourglass icon bouncing on the top right and uh, right after installation the app is in a mode where it will start the workout immediately so i uh, try to optimize it in a way that uh, you don't you have to click only a few times to get through a workout so far uh, if I had the Bluetooth enabled, I would have to click just one time by selecting the uh, fitness machine. Now, uh, I'm exercising right now. And you can see uh, in older um, phones, you don't have these little uh, chevron icons at the end of the rows, measurement rows. Uh, with newer, uh, more, more powerful phones, they can take uh, more processing. So this is a uh, mid-range phone here. And so I can uh, open different measurements such as my power reading, my speed, uh, my cadence, or my heartbeat. And you can... Uh, keep an eye on that. I will have later a more detailed uh, guide where I can show you how, you how you can define zones for each of these measurements and all bells and whistles of the application. But this is just a quick start guide. Uh, the bottom visualization is an imaginary track you are circling around and once you uh, save the workout file or upload it to any uh, supported fitness portals, uh, the workout will show up as if you would circle around the track. Let it be uh, running or biking or even kayaking. You would uh, circle around in a track shape uh, path you know, on a lake. And this is so you can participate in any uh, challenges, like Strava challenges, which require GPS track, you are putting in your workout, and I want this to count. Uh, when I'm generating this GPS track, I am taking your current speed, and uh, so it's properly uh, generated. Now, um, maybe I will show you one more, which is a little detail. 
uh, if your equipment is not able to pick up your heart rate, in my case, uh, this bicycle is able to pair with my heart rate monitor and the application is receiving the heart rate from the bike console. But if that's not the case, you can pair a heart rate monitor even while you are exercising. So I am. I brought up the menu. I'm clicking on it. Uh, I'm turning on the other uh, heart rate monitor. Let's scan again, and uh, I can see the other. It's on my other wrist. It's a uh, Wahoo ticker, and I can click. And so um, I can pair to a heart rate monitor, which is independent from the fitness machine. Um, now, if you decide to finish your exercise, you just have to press the top right stop button there. Uh, the exercise will stop, um, the measurements will fi be finalized. And right now you can decide if you want to upload the uh, the measurements I clicked on this cloud icon so I click it once more it's uh, towards the bottom left above the information button and you can select uh, you see that uh, we have Strava Sunto or Under Armour Under Armour is the map my run or map my fitness uh, fitness portals we can upload to all of these um, there will be also uh, training peaks integration coming by the way and i will go into other uh, features in the detailed guide but basically uh, i just started my workout i stopped it and now i can navigate uh, to this list button which is above this cloud button I can navigate to all of my recorded workouts here in the list and once you first of all you can quickly just on this list view drop down and see some little details like uh, how long did the extra uh, what's the date time how long did the workout last the distance burned calories and then you can click and go to a detailed page this is dedicated just for that particular workout where you can see the detailed graphs of the various readings like what type of zones i was in this particular spin um, by the way you can even zoom in to various sections and then up under each uh, time-based graph, there's also a pie chart uh, where I break it down to what zones you were in. I don't go into details how you can configure the zones. It's in the settings on the, the initial page. Um, but here we go. I go uh, click on top left, navigating back to the activities list. And so you can examine all of your previous activities here. Uh, there's also an option to download your workout, which is next to the cloud button. That's in case if you want to upload the activity to such a fitness portal I am not directly integrated with. For example, Garmin uh, doesn't allow me uh, direct API integration. Uh, download your activity. Uh, usually you want to download either in a fit format or tcx now i would advise fit because tcx is great as well uh, but in, especially in case you are running or biking but if you are doing kayaking canoeing uh, um, swimming and other ergometers those sports might not show up properly if you are using the tcx just as other sport and uh, so yeah it's uh, this is pretty easy uh, 
you decide where to download. Usually, I'm uh, if I download anything, I am going to my Google Drive, or you can send it on email. Uh, so this is standard Android stuff. And uh, I think that's basically the end of this little quick start guide. One more thing I uh, need to warn you about is that this application doesn't have any uh, server side backend, so. I'm not communicating any data to anywhere. So uh, if you, in case you accidentally, let's say, delay the data of the application, or if you manually delete with this, uh, I just clicked on the uh, little icon, the here in the dark mode, it's yellow, uh, in the light mode, it's red, uh, trash can icon. It's permanently deleted, or uh, if you reinstall your phone or upgrade or whatnot, uh, I advise you to either sync sync your activity up to one of the fitness portals. Uh, once again, Training Peaks is coming up too. Or uh, there's also this CSV file format. This CSV I developed specifically so you can carry that file over to another installation of my software and uh, when you are importing you can click that this is a migration type of data the empower echelon is uh, it's the schwinn uh, ac performance plus bikes console so if you click here migration then you can import workout which you exported from another installation of my application but so keep in mind that uh, this is not stored anywhere else unless you uh, back it up uh, manually to somewhere to your uh, google drive uh, wherever cloud storage or you sync it up to any fitness portals i hope you will enjoy my application and your fitness equipment and uh, keep training uh, my the motto and vision of my application is to avoid these indoor exercise equipment to become uh, coat hangers so keep enhancing your fitness and uh, i have upcoming features uh, hopefully uh, you will enjoy. Thank you very much and check out uh, the check back to this YouTube videos description because I gonna record a more detailed guide with all of the features I have right now and I once I'm done with that it's a pretty long script I will include the link of that video uh, in the description of this quick start guide. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your my application. And if you have any suggestions or if you, uh, let's say if it crashes or you have problem with any equipment, uh, I've heard of uh, disconnections, stuff like that. Uh, please reach out to me in email, please. Uh, this is a hobby project. Don't give me a bad rating if possible. I will try to, uh, recommend it to you and try to fix the problem it might not be possible but i'm really trying to uh, make this application better as much as possible thank you so much again and have a great workout